Hey everybody, uh, my favorite thing, of course, other than Christmas itself, is when we get a new bat in. And um, guys, I've been working on this bat for about six months. If you'll notice, it's a one piece, and uh, it follows the tradition of the AT18 line, which is our latest technologies that I've taken from some of the other products that we've had and made it into one. So what I did, guys, is I borrowed the technology on the eastern side from the Mario Foster bat, which we all know was fantastic. And I, my goal was to try to get the bat just a little bit better. And we were able to do that. Um, what we have is a 13 inch barrel with the progressive end load system. It ends up being around a half an ounce for those 26 ounce bats. It goes to about half to three quarters of an ounce the way it swings on a 27. And the 28 swings like a three quarter to a one ounce end load. And uh, I'm swinging a 27 today. I just put eight swings on this bat so that I could get ready to show you. Um, you guys are used to the, uh, the Purple Rain, which we still have a few of in stock. And of course, the Nuclear Banana has really taken off. And uh, the engineers and the management wanted me to, um, to come up with a bat so that we would have an AT18 model in every major segment of what you guys like. So now we have a one-piece bat. Guys, I want to tell you also, getting into this, we, uh, we started out knowing about the fact that SSUSA and other organizations are now um, testing bats, and that 150 number is being used a lot, sometimes 140s. The technology that we have in here is a bat that does start out or in, the, in the low 200s, and for an average player, it's gonna get below 200 within 25 to 50 swings. The good thing is, guys, even if you're a big hard hitting player, it's not gonna lose compression too fast after that to where the bat gets too soft too soon. This bat is made for the masses. You'll find out when you swing it that it is very easy to swing. It's very forgiving. For a one piece bat, it's the biggest sweet spot of anything I've ever swung. And as I said, if we could do something a little bit better than that Mario Foster bat, which is fantastic, then we know this is good. And that's what we've done here. So. I'm gonna take a few swings with it. Um, this is the first time you'll see it, and uh, we'll go from there. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention before we get going, um, I'm over in Tampa this weekend. We're playing in a tournament. We're hitting on a baseball field. So the dimensions are 325 or 330 down the lines, and it goes out to 400 feet in center. So not your typical softball field. So pay attention to um, the sound of this bat right away and watch some of the exit velocities. We'll check on the distance, we'll see. Um, but you'll notice really quickly how the ball's coming off this bat right away. Wow. I don't know if you guys could see that, but that hit the top of the fence in the gap, which is around 350 or 360 on the first swing. Oh boy. That went out. That went out of the park. Uh, that's close to 400 feet there in, in left center field, guys. Um, I was surprised. I didn't think it was going that far, but it kept going. And by the way, we're using 44, 375 softballs of a variety of different manufacturers so that we can test ball flights. I don't use stadium balls or anything. We're just using regular 44, 375 balls. So that ball went pretty far. Oh, I missed that. That's a pop-up. That was a nice inside pitch, commonly called F7. A little bit under that. That's still carried out there and hit the base of the fence right around the 350, 360 mark. I don't know if you can hear this thing, but guys, it is sounding off already. You see the distances. We got a great day to test today too, guys. It's really hot and humid here. So ball flight's not great, but we literally have no wind. So this is a real true evaluation of distances and velocities. I got a little behind that. 
good line drive to the infield. Look at that. The ball was dancing all the way out. A little behind that, but that ball's taken off good. Off the fence and left center. under that one. So it's out there, that, that short hop the fence again. I miss hitting some of these balls, guys. I hit that one out here. The other one I hit down in here. But you can see the sweet spot on this bat, literally, is this whole barrel here. That's what you want in a bat. One piece bats, it's very difficult to get sweet spots this big. But I don't care what level of player you are, how old you are, you can hit this bat. Oh boy, I was a little bit short, but I hit it on the end. Oh my gosh, I think I just lost the ball. That went back in the woods, guys, on a line drive. Oh, <laughs> I just struck out. Great pitch. Oh, I reached for that. That is a pop up in left center. You notice, guys, how I strode out here and hit that? That ball should have been hit more to center field. Let's hit a few more. A little bit deep and out. A little behind me. Off the fence and left center. You saw, guys, I kind of was falling back on that. Showing you the forgiveness and the liveliness of this bat. I was short and I went down and got it a little bit. That, that bounced right by the fence. All right, three or four more. Look at that line drive, holy moly. All right, last two. Oh boy. That's deep into the woods. That curved around the, I'm not sure if that was fair or foul, but that ball's easily 30 feet over the fence or more. Ah, one more, that was a good line drive. One more, and we'll call it a day. You can't see how far that went, but I'm never finding that ball. That went over the uh, left center field fence, and it was a good 40 or 50 feet over it, deep into the woods. I'm going to tell you right now, guys, you want one of the best, if not the best bat I've ever created? This is the AT-18 Supercell. It's going to be out real soon. Uh, they're individually numbered. They're only limited edition. You can only get them from me. I would highly recommend you call me because you don't want to miss out on this. 561. 718-7504. Alan Tanner, Team One Sports.